Hi, I'm Tasman, and welcome to Unleash Software. We are a fantastic cloud-based tool that can help you make, manage, and move your products with inventory management at its heart. We all know that everybody's jumping online these days, so with your multi-channel sales processes, they can be quite tricky to manage. With Unleashed, however, we've got connections with Shopify and Amazon, as well as other e-commerce platforms, which pull all of those orders into one location for you to manage them in a really successful way so that you can keep your customers happy. Let's jump into Unleashed to take a look. Unleashed has been designed to be the hub of your software ecosystem. If you've got a Shopify store, Amazon store, or e-commerce platform, definitely do connect them to Unleashed as we can seamlessly pull through those orders into one system to manage, to reorder, and to fulfill uh, all of your multi-channel um, sales that are coming through. So we're gonna come into your view sales orders. This is the key screen where all of those orders are populating into the one place. It is where we will get the majority of the information that we need and is also the screen that we can action our next fulfillment processes. Here I can see what channel that order has come through, the status in which that I've placed it at. I can see if it's gone over its required date. So this one here being today is still good, but these ones here I am currently running later on. And I can also see what those orders are costing me and the margin calculations as well. This one here is key so that I can tell which one of my sales channels is making me the most profit. So if I click and drag this up here, it becomes really nice and easy to be able to group those together. And of course I can expand them as well to get further details. So we can begin to manipulate and use the screen in a lot of smart ways to, to give us the information that we need at a glance, which makes it super easy to manage. This will begin to filter through our day to day. So each, uh, each time someone purchases from your e-commerce platform or from your business to business portal, they will automatically be populated here. So it's a key one to keep up during uh, throughout your day so that you can keep an eye on it uh, and fulfill as you go. Now I have a new order come here that's come through from Shopify. Uh, so I wanna click into it and double check my details. Here I can see that the customer information has come across. I can see the product in which they've bought. And I can also see the calculations uh, coming down here. If this customer is on any payment terms I've specified, that will come through here so that I know uh, when to expect the payment for their invoice. Now that actual payment uh, being a B2C uh, will have come through from Shopify. So for this particular one, all I need to do is fulfill it. However, one of my key indicators is my margin. My margin is currently sitting at 100%, which probably means I'm out of stock for this product. So if I hover over it, I can indeed see, yep, I'm out of stock for this item. I've got the allocation of one, which is for this particular order, but this will accumulate if you have a number of orders um, needing this product that you have zero stock on hand for. So it's a really good quick view to see how much you're gonna need to reorder for that particular item. Or if you have the stock on hand uh, and an allocated amount, you can begin to see if you have enough um, in order to cover those. Now, if I had a uh, stock sitting in another location, I can accommodate through that through the one order um, by shipping from multiple warehouses. This is a great feature in Unleashed that we have, which allows you to select stock from multiple locations within the one order um, so that you can send it out uh, as quickly as you can to your customer. So let's take a look at a shipment. For this one, we're going to come in and we're going to create shipment. Our shipment transaction within Unleashed holds all of your logistical information. Here we can access our shipping company that we've selected, the tracking number that they've given us, uh, the dispatch date, we always wanna keep accurate with that one, should be when the box is on the truck um, going out of your warehouse number of packages, and of course your key delivery notes to give to your driver. 
We can also be specific as to the quantity that we're sending out. So being as I have zero stock on hand for this particular product, I won't be dispatching the shipment right now. Uh, but if I did have the stock, I can specify um, exactly what quantity I want to be shipping out at that time. This is brilliant for those who need to accommodate for partial shipments, um, especially coming from your supply chain side. You definitely want to be getting uh, your products out to your customers as soon as possible. So whether that uh, order then goes on back order to allow you to do that, we can all do that within Unleashed. When we do have all the stock, of course, we'll be hitting the dispatch button. Uh, that reduces the stock from Unleashed, but it also updates your uh, e-commerce platform so that they're constantly up to date with the stock on hand that you have. Uh, so everything is real time, everything is traceable, um, and your customers uh, give an accurate sense of when you have stock and when you don't. But we also have the ability to do this in bulk. So if we come into our sales, into orders and to view shipments, this is where we can then begin to say, OK, we've got X amount of orders that are going out today. Let's dispatch them in bulk. So let's say that happens to be this order, this order and this order. We can hover over our action cog here and we can select dispatch, which makes it super easy for us to uh, send that information out, have the system reduce the stock and of course have our e-commerce e systems as up to date as they can be. But how do we know when to dispatch? So one awesome thing that Unleash does, and it's uh, probably one of my favorite reports, a bit of a uh, inventory management nerd on this one, um, is our back order inquiry. So this one here uh, lets us know what we have in stock and when we can dispatch it. It can also tell us if we actually have already dispatched enough and whether that order needs to be closed off. So by default, it comes up with our back ordered status, but we can change this to uh, open so that we can see everything that's coming through. And this is where we can begin to uh, actionable our, our orders as well. So by looking at this, I can see that I can ship all of these three. I have the stock available in this. I've already dispatched this one here, so it should be closed off. And these ones here have either been partially shipped or I've got partial stock available for them. So that's what I can bring into that uh, multi warehouse shipment or partial shipments and send off what I have. From this particular report, I can generate the shipment as well. So really nice and easy to access uh, from this particular report exactly what I need. Now, not only does it tell me the order information, it also tells me the product information. So if I come up onto my all tab here, I can then begin to see when my stock is next due to arrive. Now, this is key. If your customer gives you a call complaining that their uh, order is taking too long to get to them, you can pop onto this back order inquiry and let them know where their next uh, shipment is due to arrive to you um, so that you can manage their expectations and let them know when they're um, due to expect uh, your stock. We can also see uh, the quantities in which have been ordered. So we, we're on a quantity basis now per, per product. Uh, so we can see what's been ordered. Um, we can see what's ready to ship. And of course, we can see what has been dispatched as well. So really key report that one to be able to manage all of those orders that are coming through your multi channels. Now, of course, we do know that from a wholesale or distribution standpoint, uh, you might need to take care of your invoicing as well. And that is also nice and easy. We can come into your sales, into orders, uh, back into our view sales order screen. This one here, like I said, you're going to be looking at it every single day. We can come into your order and we can come into create invoice. We can also create a partial invoice for anybody doing deposits. Now that again is specific per order, but if we wanted to do that from our uh, main screen here, we can select our action cog and we can select invoice here as well. So again, everything that you can do, you can um, manage specifically per order if you require that detail, uh, or you have the ability to do these from the screen in bulk um, and, uh, and per order basis. Now to give you just a bit of a visual of the types of uh, channels that we can bring through here, 
if I change this through to my completed orders, which is another key thing to always keep an eye on, you can do your date range to bring up uh, information uh, on a month by month basis if you so wish. But we can see here that we've had a number of orders come through from Vend, lots from Shopify, and even some ones from our mobile app. Now that is great if you've got a sales team out on the road who are adding customers and placing orders as they go. It'll all come through into the main application automatically. So we can really utilize your uh, sales channels in a number of key ways within Unleashed, all to make it easier to save you time uh, and to uh, manage all of those channels where all your orders are coming from. And there we go. So that's a high level view of how you can manage your multi-sales order processing within Unleashed so you can keep your customers happy. If you would like to know more, scroll down to the bottom of this page to have a chat with one of our experts. You can check out our pricing for our subscriptions as well. And you can also jump into a demo of Unleashed. Why not have a play around? Thanks for watching.